Hello and welcome to Asterisk Live. My name is Billy Chia and I'm here with Allison Smith, Hello. the voice of Asterisk. Welcome, Allison. Thanks, Billy. And uh, let's see, Allison, uh, you are the voice of Asterisk, so when we uh, punch in a, a, a tone into our IVR and all of the default sound prompts yes. in Asterisk, are your voice. That's me. That's me that tells people, congratulations, you have successfully installed the Asterisk Open Source PBX. <laughs> <laughs> Which I, I love to hear all the time, and I especially like the G722 codec because then I get high fidelity, Allison. There you go. <laughs> but you don't get more high fidelity than being able to hang Being right next to me, yes. Right next to you. So how, how did you get started? with being the voice of Astros. You know, I was just approached by a couple of guys that used to work for Digium, and um, they wanted me to do some prompts, and they were pretty normal. There was a couple that were a little unusual, and I just did them, and I thought it was kind of a one-off, and then it turned into this amazing thing where I got all this recurring business and um, got invited to Astrocon, and I wasn't sure what to expect. Um, in fact, I had a pep talk with myself and said, okay, you're really shy. You have to introduce yourself to people. I thought people wouldn't know who I was, and I was... A little bit mobbed, actually. <laughs> it was surreal and, and wonderful. I, I love Astrocon. So when you came, you came to Astrocon, yeah. and then everybody knew who you were. They did. They did. So, so they surely recognized your voice. Yes. Also, I was only one of three females there, so that was another. At the first away. Astrocon. <laughs> okay. Yes. Yeah. And uh, in terms of your business, tell us a little bit about what you do. Well, um, I record IVR prompts all day, every day. Um, you know, I do a lot of other voice talent stuff. I do broadcast and e-learning modules and stuff like that. I've even done talking products. I was the talking piggy bank for the Raspberry Toy Company for a few years, which was kind of fun. But uh, IVR is kind of my specialty, so I that that's sort of what I do, and that's my that's my niche, I guess. Okay. So the idea is when folks want to have a professional voice actor do their IVR prompts and when you call their company they get the name of their company yep. it's highly customized whatever they need in the prompts Absolutely. it can be in your voice yes yeah and it, that's especially appealing if they're um, implementing asterisk and they want that nice consistent sound throughout the entire system uh, it's uh, it's great having a single voice doing everything doing all of the all the clips there absolutely I've called companies where they have almost like a mosaic of about 15 different voices. Right. And it just doesn't sound professional. So it's nice to have that seamless consistency. Yeah, and so that this is the uh, the default prompts there are in your voice, and then they can have custom prompts that match. Yes. So even a even a small business can sound like a much larger business with professional audio recording. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's pretty. Um, that's, a, that's a pretty nice way to go. Yeah. Uh, in terms of your. You've been in the Asher's community for, for such a long time. Yeah. Uh, as, as you've seen it grow and change, what, what are some of the things that you've seen that are maybe different today about Asterisk than uh, when you first got started? That's a great question. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of not expert on the whole technical inner workings of Asterisk, but um, I, I noticed a shift a few years ago uh, to kind of a more corporate feel of the um, attendees at Astrocon. There was less of a community feel, and I think everyone really seemed to notice the last Astrocon. There is more of a community, more of an open source feel, kind of a friendlier feel. I don't really know what that's uh, attributable to. I really don't know what the explanation would be for that. <laughs> it's uh, Everyone seems to be a lot more open with information, um, sharing bug fixes and knowledge. And uh, I, yeah, it's, it's a great community. It really is. I think from a technical perspective, and I noticed similar things at the last Astrocon. So initially, Asterisk was, uh, you know, maybe more like a hobbyist project, right. 10, 15 years ago. Yeah. And then uh, it did, it became a very corporate, very professional project used all over the world. Yeah. And maybe some of that tight-knit community um, wasn't there in the developer community. Yes. But with Asterisk 12, we released a new API, mm -hmm. the Asterisk RESTful interface. Yes. And so I think yes. the excitement around that RESTful interface brought a lot of developers to Astrocon, a lot of application developers. Yes. And so you started to see um, some of that startup feel and mm -hmm. some of that energy there along with the large businesses that are using Astrocon. That's, That's exactly it. I think I noticed more of a variety of the type of people. There's still some hobbyists, there's still some corporate people, but it's a real mix. It's a, it's a big kind of a pastiche of a bunch of different kinds of people. 
that use asterisk. Excellent. Well, Allison, thank you for uh, joining me here, and always love hanging out with you. And catch you next time. Thank you.